In today's video, we're taking a deep dive into a spicy challenger-approved strategy featuring 6 Punk Jinx reroll. To know more detailed analysis of how to play this comp and various headliner possibilities, do check out the video from our channel. The link is provided in the description. Now, we're going to dissect a recent game of mine where I dominated the challenger lobby with this explosive comp. The game started off with the component anvil portal, along with a vi and a heap of gold. Straight away, I got my first Jinx, allowing me to activate the punk synergy early on to get the early one cost refresh. Then it was paired up with Aphelios to get the rapid fire synergy too. As I already had the punk trait active, for my first augment, I got the extended play, which gives me a couple of gold, whenever I two star my punk units and a component, when I eventually three star them. Over the itemization, I focused on making a rage blade for the jinx at first, which brings the best value out of it. Still, as we haven't got the headliner version of it, I slammed the items on Aphelios. And as we always say, along with the attack item crafting, having a defensive item also gets us more value in the early games. I gave an even shroud to Vi. As it is a slow reroll comp and I haven't got my desired headliner, thus I stayed on level 3 having more possibility of getting a Jinx headliner. And we got a punk competitor in the first round itself. Let's see how long the player competes with us. I also got my first Twitch. As I mentioned earlier, I got the punk headliner Jinx. I was off to a losing start, thus to continue the streak and have an advantage of getting the carousel priority, I made a weaker board in order to lose the round, and what we got here was another player with a punk headliner vi. Still, I am good at this comp and I know how to overcome these hurdles. I continued with the comp. I made a 2 star jinx and fortunately, a pantheon came up from the shop. I spectated my opponents and tried to play a weaker board once again, but the opponent was much weaker this time. Still, we were in the last two spots granting us the carousel priority. I desperately needed that sword, but unlucky, it was picked by another player and I picked the bow which was also one from my priority item list. Then I played my strongest board. After a couple of losses, I stacked 40 gold for our first roll down. The best rerolling strategy is buying the other units of the same cost which we need. In this case, I kept on buying other one cost units in order to reduce the possibilities of them popping up in the shop and increasing the possibilities of getting a jinx. Then with a slow and spectacular reroll, we were a step ahead of one of our competitors. My bench was already filled with punk units, and for the second augment selection, I was thinking whether to go for a few more refresh based augments like silver ticket or rolling for days, but I was fed up with healing orbs. It would be useful when Jinx was maxed out and unleashed with her full potential healing our tanks for a decent amount of health after killing every enemy unit. According to me, Vi wasn't the core unit for this comp thus once Twitch got to 2 stars I swapped it for Vi. As we got the Guardian trait active by the addition of Amumu, it was an adequate defense and equipped the Pantheon with the Even Shroud. Then I gave the Giant Slayer as the second item for Jinx. Still, without a 3 star Jinx something was missing. HP being down to 66 I picked my final copy of Jinx from the carousel. I crafted the Steadfast Heart from the component and completed my second defense item. I spectated the opponents for my positioning as well. Make sure to place Jinx in such a way granting the time required for the Rage Blade to stack. Once I got a couple of 2 star Pantheon I moved to level 6 and played Vex, activating both Emo and Executioner synergy. For the third item, I gave Renan's Hurricane to Jinx. As I don't need this needlessly large rod I used the Reforger on it. It gave me a sword and I equipped Deathblade on Twitch. In the third augment selection, I picked the Return on Investment, which gives me a Tactician Crown after 16 shop refreshes. I am obviously going to do that in these reroll comps. Immediately I started rolling for Pantheon copies and once I got the plus one slot, I stopped rerolling. Then I added Vi to have 5 punk synergy which can get to 6 if I am fortunate to get either a punk emblem or a spatula. That's why I have preserved a glove on my items board. As I wanted, there was a spatula in the carousel which was again taken by another player, my bad. I picked the Amumu with a sword from there, which gave me one more 2 star Amumu. This comp is all about maxing out our units. Finally, my Pantheon also got maxed out along with Twitch. As I cannot wait any further for a spatula I gave an Infinity Edge for Twitch and a Crown Guard for Amumu. Then I also gave a Spear of Shoujin for Twitch allowing it to cast quicker. To avoid further losses, I moved to level 7. After a few rounds, finally, we got one last opportunity here, Punk Emblem in the Carousel. Fortune favors the brave and luckily, I picked it. 
I gave the emblem to a Mumu and completed my 6 punk synergy. The best choice for a punk emblem is either Thrash or Illusion which we can get if we plan to move to level 8 or 9. Now we were eliminating opponents. I was rolling for the last copy of a Mumu and it keeps on evading. This big shot jazz with EDM Z comp was threatening, but I managed to beat it this round. At 6 to 1, I also maxed out my Amumu. Usually, Pantheon will be our main tank, as we hit an early Amumu too. I chose it as the tank for this game. I gave excessive tank items for Pantheon. Our level 7 board was strongly competing against stronger level 9 boards. At this round, I failed to observe my opponent with a Zephyr, trying to counter my Jinx. but I still managed to knock him out. On positioning at the end games, be attentive to such baits, even sometimes an Akali could be a greater threat. As I was marching forward towards my victory with a decent streak, the big shot Jazz opponent got stronger and got the better of me. In the 6-4 carousel, I opted for the protector's vow making my defense further stronger. With only maybe a couple of rounds left, I moved to level 8 and activated the sentinel synergy for further defense, which proved to be a worthy move. The final round was all about positioning. I made sure to keep my Jinx out of reach of the opponent's 2-star Lucian, which eventually resulted in my dominating victory. That brings us to the end of this video. We have a small summary of what we have seen in this video. We have explained the thrilling re-roll phase, identifying key 3 stars, deciding when to stop rolling, and various re-rolling strategies. Also explained how I prioritize itemization and positioning for maximum impact. We also analyzed opponents' comps and adapted our positioning and itemization to counter threats. As I mentioned earlier, make sure to check out the fully explained videos on this comp in our channel for more intriguing details. Hope you have learned something new and do try it out and let us know in the comments. For more gameplay analysis and challenger TFT contents, subscribe to our channel, Item Swap.